पीर टीवी के तमाम नाजरीन अस्सलाम वालेकुम आज पंद्रहवें रमज़ान है 2019 आज यहाँ पे अलहमदिल्ला आप लोगों के तावन से हमने तकरीबन 610 लोगों को मज़ीद खाना मुहैया किया डिस्ट्रिक्ट पंगानी में और हम वापसी पे जा रहे थे तो एक जगह हम रुके और हमने यहाँ पे लोगों के हालात जानना चाहे तो मैं बता नहीं सकता कि किस किस्म के हालात हैं यहाँ पर लोगों के अल्फाज में बयान करना मुश्किल है मैं यकीन करें कोई एग्जेजरेशन नहीं कर रहा आप खुद आए यहाँ पे ख़ुद अपनी आंखों से देखें यहाँ पे क्या सिचुएशन है अभी यहाँ पे चार गिराने रहते हैं मामा आयशा मामा आयशा जैना और आयशा आयशा ये भी आयशा हैं चार फैमिलीज यहाँ पे रहती हैं एक का घर ये है दस साल में यहाँ से रह रही हैं एक घर ये सामने है और एक घर ये सामने है इन चारों में से सिर्फ एक घराने को फूड का पैक मिल सका सिर्फ एक घराने को यहाँ पे अगर 500 सौ अफराद हैं तो सिर्फ अगर 500 सौ घराने हैं अगर गांव में सिर्फ 100 को मिलेगा क्योंकि यहाँ पे गुरबत इतनी है यहाँ पे लोग इतने हैं और फूड पैक्स हमारे पास कम हैं इन चारों में इन चारों की हालत आप देख सकते हैं इन चारों की मैं आपको हालत बताऊँ कि मैं इनसे पूछा कि पिछले पंद्रह रमज़ान हो चुके हैं तो आपने क्या खाया तो उन्होंने कहा कि शहर हो या अवतार हो शहर हो अवतार हो यही सिर्फ और सिर्फ यही सिर्फ और सिर्फ यही इसके साथ इसके अलावा कुछ भी नहीं है इनके घर में चाहे घी हो ऑयल हो शुगर हो कुछ भी नहीं है सिर्फ और सिर्फ ये पीस के खा रहे हैं ये लोग ये पिछले साल का किस्सा हुआ इस साल का नहीं है और गंदा हो चुका है इसको उल्ली लग चुकी है फंग, फंगस लग चुका है इसको लेकिन ये पीस के ये आटा बनता है पीस के ये आटा बनता है ये आटा शहर और शाम में सिर्फ ये आटा पानी में भिगो के ये खा रहे हैं और ये पी रहे हैं ये हमारी माँ जो हैं तकरीबन सत्तर साल की हैं और वो भी तकरीबन सत्तर साल की हैं ये पिछले साल इन्होंने उगाया पिछले साल इस साल बारिश नहीं हुई इस साल बारिश नहीं हुई इनको कुछ नहीं मिल सका अवतार में पिछले साल का गंदा ये कसावा जो है वो इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं आपके घरों में अंदर आप मैं आपको लेके जाऊँगा कि क्या सिचुएशन है आप अंदर देखें एक चीज़ भी आप खुद आएँ मैं सबको इन्वाइट करता हूँ आप खुद आएँ हम आपको यहाँ पर सपोर्ट करेंगे आप खुद आएँ पूरे के पूरे गाँव देखें आप कोई गांव ऐसा नहीं है कोई गांव ऐसा नहीं है कि जिसमें कहीं आपको चीनी मिल जाए कहीं घी मिल जाए जहां पे आपको कुछ खाने की और अलावा इसके अलावा कुछ और चीज़ मिले ये इस इस जड़ के अलावा ये हालात हैं नाजरीन अभी इस पूरे चार घरों में से सिर्फ एक घर को खाना मिला है और ये कह रहे हैं अलहमदिल्ला हम इसको शेयर करेंगे खाने को इन तो ये हालात हैं यहाँ पर हमारे मुसलमान बहन भाइयों के हमारे घर में सारी चीज़ें होती हैं शाम में जिस वक्त आप नशरियात देख रहे हैं आप देखें आपके फ्रिज में क्या है आपके किचन में क्या क्या अल्लाह पाक ने आपको फैसिलिटीज़ दी हुई है और एक फूड पैक जो है सिर्फ 50 पाउंड का है 50 पाउंड में और यहाँ पक हम घरों में पहुँचाते हैं लोगों को और इन जैसे लोगों को पहुँचा रहे हैं अल्लाह पाक हम सब का हामी नासर रहे और मैं इससे ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं कह सकता आपके सामने हैं आलात और सबसे बड़ी जब तक आप अपनी आँखों से नहीं देखेंगे आप यकीन नहीं करेंगे लिहाजा आप खुद आएँ यहाँ पर सिचुएशन देखें अल्लाह पाक हमें माफ़ फरमाए हमारी गलतियों को और अल्लाह पाक इन लोगों के हालात पर रेम फरमाए आप इनको अगर कुछ नहीं सकते दे सकते तो कम अज़ कम इनको दुआ में ज़रूर याद रखें ये वो गरीब लोग हैं जहाँ इनके पास पानी के लिए पानी पीने के लिए पानी है खाने के लिए खुराक नहीं है आप आएँ यहाँ पर देता है मुझे मैं आपको चैलेंज करता हूँ चैलेंज करता हूँ आप कहीं पर भी काम करें यहाँ पर आए इससे ज़्यादा गुरबत आपको दुनिया में कहीं नहीं मिलेगी My dear brothers and sisters all over the world, all over the world, we are here with my team, with our director, Brother Amjad. We are coming from the distribution of Ramadan food packs. Six, more than 600 food packs we have distributed one hour ago. When we are going back to Muheza, we have passed to this uh, family, and we stopped here, and uh, we met our mother, our grandmother, and we start asking him uh, in local languages, and. Uh, She told me a, a very interesting story, very long and interesting story. The way they are living, how poor they are. They are very, very poor. The mother, she was telling me uh, the story. She is living in this house for last 10 years. This house, she is living with her sister. Her sister is staying in that house, and uh, the daughter is staying there. All together here, there are about 10, living in very, very poor houses. I was asking my grandmother how she is surviving because there was a drought. There was a late this rain which has started uh, raining. before it was there was no rain at all it has just come at the end of the season so people they were they were going to farm when it was drought and they were hoping the, the rain will come 
the rain didn't come. So I was asking my mother how she was surviving with the big family like this one. She was telling me that uh, the, the situation was very, very bad, especially in this Ramadan. They haven't eaten a very good food since the Ramadan has started. I was asking my mother, my grandmother, did you have any sugar? Say even one, one spoon of sugar. The, the food which they were living, I've seen this food for many, many years ago. The way she was explaining how this food is preserved. As you can see, it is black. This is, they don't have, pres they cannot preserve. They've just take it from the, from the, from the, from the farm and they, it, it preserve it, it has become, it has rotten. Let me be honest, this is rotten. This you cannot eat, we cannot eat, me and you brother, we cannot eat this food. But the mother, she's been eating this, iftar and suhoor, suhoor, she's eating this. And honestly, the way she was telling me, I can, I can feel that this is the only food she was ha is having with her, with her family. And they're having this flour. I know this flour very well. You don't put anything, if you don't put sugar in this flour, you can never drink even one, one spoon. It is very hard. I know this food, this food is for very poor people. But my mother, she was now very happy and she's feeling very joyful, alhamdulillah. She's thinking, the way I was telling, I was explaining to her, she was just raising her hands and making dua and saying, thank you, thank you, alhamdulillah. Now the food has come. The food which you have distributed, you have contributed, you have given to Allah and you will find it to Allah, inshallah. You have given to the right people and it is in this house. Most of them, they are there, but we came to this house, they have this food. They are happy now, this last 15 days, alhamdulillah, they will have delicious food, they will have a nice food, they will have rice, they will have beans, they will have sugar, they will have uh, spaghetti, alhamdulillah, from now on until end, they will have nice, and the rain has started, alhamdulillah. So this is the situation, how people, we have to be very, very thankful. We who are having food for all, all, all of Ramadan, we don't think we're having samosas, we're having kebab, we're having suhoor, we're having faluda, we're having custard and everything, but these people, they don't have anything. But alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, they have one very big thing in, in, in them. They have La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This is the only thing which I was very proud. I was very uh, grateful when I heard from my mother that, that Allah is there and we're believing with him. So that belief which she had, that gave me a little bit joyful. Alhamdulillah, they will not have in this dunya, but in akhirah to Allah, inshallah, they will get. I was telling God that they were very patient and they are used to this place, alhamdulillah. So we have to be grateful. And I thank you very, very much that the food which you are distributing, especially in this Ramadan, especially especially in this Ramadan you are giving to the right people who are so need and they will eat with joyful and they will give you dua inshallah may Allah increase in your wealth and health may Allah make easy in your life may Allah remove all the evils the eye envies and everything may Allah accept your duas please don't forget to make dua this is wasila this you can you can ask Allah you know better than me ask Allah that the food which you have distributed Allah please remove this and this make this wasila make this the bridge to make your dua happen. Make this bridge, this sadaqah which you have given all my brothers, the sadaqah which you have contributed in this country through Islamic help, through our brother Amjad. My brother Amjad, this is the second time I'm telling you, brother Amjad, you are doing a very great job in connecting the donors and these people. You are looking after these people very much. I'm proud of you, my brother, the way you are looking at them, the way you are concerned about their living. Alhamdulillah, the way you are concerned about their living. Whenever I go with you, you are always looking at these poor people. May Allah give you Jannah, inshallah, all of us, inshallah, for caring these poor people. Inshallah, and you, the team, and all the HQ, and the one who is doing the donation, all of us, inshallah, Allah will give us and will never decrease any, uh, any one of us. To give a sadaqah to a poor people, or to, give to, or to, make, a, to make someone happy, to make someone happy is more than praying the whole night and praying and I don't know fasting and everything just to make these people happy. That is enough. Alhamdulillah. So you have done this to a lot of people here. Since we started with brother, uh, uh, brother Abu in Handeni, they were very, very poor. You have seen in the videos. Please look at the videos. So your contribution and your sadaqah which you are giving, Alhamdulillah, you are giving to the right person. May Allah accept it. May Allah increase in your wealth. May Allah increase double and double. And inshallah, you'll find a lot inshallah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers, uh, uh, we are in Pangani. You now, Islamic Help who is working in more than five districts in Tanga region. Since we have started distributing food for Ramadan, you know, we are always reaching people of this life. This is cassava. They peeled it, they dried it. But they are not drying in a proper way, in such a way it looks like it is rotten. And this is the only food which they depend on. For start. For iftar and for the yadina, so uh, for, for everything, Masha. everything. Allah. So just imagine, this is the rotten cassava, they just peel it. After peeling it, they grind it by using this, you see. So it comes like this way, you see this, oh. this flour. 
So this is the only one which they have in the house and only salt. So this is the one which they make, they iftar, they depend on, on only this. So with your support, alhamdulillah. Without sugar? Without sugar. Even how can you ask for sugar when someone is sleeping with empty stomach? Can someone manage to buy even a quarter kilogram of sugar? You see, so that is the only which they depend. So for sure, your support, it is not only making people happy in Ramadan, but also you are supporting people who are sleeping with empty stomach in their life. That's how people are suffering. That's how people are being richly with Islamic help with your support. So we really appreciate your work. We really seek for more if possible because we reach some few, but the, gen the whole community generally it is living in the same situation. Yes. So for this support, Alhamdulillah, I'm very thankful because I, I was born and I came into this life. I know how this life is. I ate the same food in my life and my parents still are eating the same food. So please, we beg the support. Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward you for your support. Thank you. Shukran, Jazakallah khair. wanaweza kutuweka vizuri Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki Mungu awape hela watu wanipatie kibanda kizuri nipate pale pa kukana mimi mimi na 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 dogo zangu na wanangu Amina rabbi na fatiha Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin arrahman arrahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu iyyaka nasta'in ihdina siratal mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta alayhim the mother, one of the one of the dua she made, instead of asking Allah to give her money, she said, Allah, please give them more money. Allah.